In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can install Ubuntu 20.04 on a virtual machine with VirtualBox. And to get started, we will first need to download the Ubuntu ISO. So you can just type Ubuntu download on Google and just get to the Ubuntu website. So you can see here, ubuntu.com slash download slash desktop. And you will see Ubuntu 20.04. If it's not here, you can search for different versions and find Ubuntu 20.04, okay? This is a LTS or long-term support version. So you can click on download. So it's gonna take you to another page. You just wait a few seconds and then it's gonna download the ISO file for Ubuntu 20.04. You can see this is 2.7 gigabytes, so it's quite big. Click on OK. If uh, the download doesn't start automatically, you can click here also. And then you don't need to worry about that. You can just open a new tab. And while your uh, Ubuntu ISO is being downloaded, you can download and install VirtualBox. So just type VirtualBox and go to virtualbox.org. Okay. And download whatever is the latest version here. It doesn't really matter. Then you have to choose which host you are currently uh, using. So I am using Windows here. So I'm going to download for Windows hosts. If you are using a Mac OS, well, you just download this one, okay? So I click on this, I save the executable. Okay, let's see where it is. Okay, so you just wait until the VirtualBox executable is downloaded. And once it's downloaded, you can just click on it. So execute the uh, installer. Okay, you can see you have the install process. So next, uh, next. You can create a shortcut on the desktop if you want to. I'm gonna remove that for me. Uh, next, just yes, install, accept everything. Okay, if you have a pop-up, just press on yes. And then it's going to install VirtualBox. So nothing complicated here. Okay, and you can click on finish. So it's gonna open VirtualBox, but if you want to open it, so I'm gonna close that. If you want to open it, then you can just click on the shortcut you have on your desktop, for example, or just uh, click here and search for VirtualBox. Okay, and you can click here and open VirtualBox. So this, if it's the first time you use VirtualBox, this on the left is going to be empty, okay? For me, I already have some virtual machines, okay? But for you, it's gonna be empty. So what you can do is you can now create, so you can click on new and create a new virtual machine. So we are going to set up the machine and then we are going to put the ISO file once it is downloaded. Okay. And for the name, well, let's name it Ubuntu 20.04. You can just name it as you want. Okay, it doesn't matter at all. And then you choose, so type Linux and version you choose Ubuntu 64 bit. Okay, make sure you choose that one. You click on next. And then you have to allocate some RAM or memory. Okay, for the virtual machine. Here they say the recommended memory size is one gigabyte, but this is really low. Okay, then it depends on how much you have. Okay, I have 16. So I'm gonna put for 16, I'm gonna put six and which is a very good, uh, great value. If you have eight gigabytes of RAM, I recommend you put maybe four gigabytes uh, for the virtual machine or three, okay? With three or four, it's gonna be okay. And if you have 16, well, that's better and you can go up to six or even more, but six is really fine. So click on next, keep that option, create a virtual hard disk now, create virtual disk image, okay? Dynamically located, okay? And then, so this is the size of the a virtual hard disk. So basically how much space you have to store the operating system, the programs and your files. Okay, so by default, it's uh, 10 gigabytes, which is very little. I'm gonna put 30 gigabytes. Okay, I recommend you put at least 20, 25. And then, well, if you plan to install a lot of softwares or a lot of files, you can just go uh, up as you want. So you create and you have a new virtual machine here. So we still didn't have put the ISO file for installation, but the machine is here. I'm going to go back to settings because there is one important setting that they didn't ask us in the setup process. You go in system 
So you can see here the RAM, okay? So at any time you can change the RAM. So you start the machine, you change the RAM, you click on OK and you start the machine again and you have a different RAM. You go on processor and this actually was not shown and by default you have just one CPU for your virtual machine. And just one CPU is maybe going to make the machine slow. So if you have, I have four CPUs here, I'm gonna put two for the virtual machine. If you have eight CPUs, uh, you can go to three, okay, that's good. And maybe four if you want uh, really high performance. Okay, so I put two CPUs, I click on okay. And now the settings are done. So I'm going to go back here, check, okay. I have downloaded the ISO file, so now what I can do, I'm going to go back to settings again for this. So you select this and you go to settings, you go on storage. Here you should see controller IDE and empty, okay, disk empty. And optical drive here, you're gonna click on that button, okay, the disk button, and choose a disk file. And it's going to open, okay, the file manager. And well, you can browse, so this I, just put the uh, downloaded ISO in my documents downloads, but you can browse and find the file that you have just downloaded and you're gonna select it so you can double click on it. And now you can see the file is gonna be here. So you click on okay. And then you can now start the virtual machine to start the installation of Ubuntu. Click on start here. Okay, and it's gonna ask you to confirm the startup disk. And actually the one I used was that one, it's the same, but that one. So you can also click here to choose from the files, okay, to make sure that you have the Ubuntu 20.04 ISO that you have downloaded. You click on start. And now Ubuntu is booting. So here you don't do anything, you just wait. And you are now on Ubuntu with the so installation setup. So the virtual machine is correctly set up and now inside that virtual machine, we are going to install Ubuntu. So you choose the language you want and you can just click on install Ubuntu here. Then you choose the keyboard layout. So if you have a QWERTY, you don't change anything. But for me, I'm gonna put my AZERTY keyboard, okay? So I can continue. And then, well, you can keep normal installation. It's gonna install the web browser and then utilities, uh, soft, office software, etc. media players. If you just want the bare minimum, just go with minimal installation, okay? But normal is nice if you just get started. And then you can keep this box checked, okay? Download updates while installing Ubuntu. So you click on continue. And here it's gonna ask you if you want to erase disk and install Ubuntu or something else. So if you were to install Ubuntu as a dual boot on your computer, you would not choose that, okay? You would choose something like keep Ubuntu on one part and keep uh, Windows on one part here. This, we are talking about a virtual hard disk that was created before, so the 30 gigabyte hard disk. So you can just erase the disk because, well, it doesn't contain anything else. Then you can click on continue. So here you can choose uh, wherever you are. Okay, so you have the correct time zone. You click on continue. And then you can give, so your name basically, it's gonna be your username on the computer. So I'm just gonna put Ed, for example, just put your name, don't put any space, okay? And try to keep it short, okay? That's going to better if you keep it short. And then the computer name, or also the host name, so add VirtualBox, I'm gonna put simply add-v-m. So yeah, the username is that. So if you want to kind of have a different name than username, I'm just gonna keep the same for simplicity. And you can choose a password. So because this is a virtual machine, I'm just gonna put a very uh, simple password because, well, this virtual machine can only be accessed if someone has access to my computer. So. I already have a strong password for my computer. Now for the virtual machine, I'm gonna keep it simple. And you can require to log in every time or you can just log in automatically. And I usually do that for my virtual machines. And now, well, you click on continue and you can see the installation process. So it's gonna take a while, okay? It's gonna copy file, it's gonna install stuff, it's gonna download some software. So you just wait until it's done.
Okay, and after some time, you can see here installation complete. You need to restart in order to use the new installation. So you click on restart now. It's going to restart Ubuntu inside the virtual machine. And so here you can see, please remove the installation medium and press enter. So you just press enter. Okay, and you can see here it's rebooting. And so you have a uh, final steps that you can just click on skip next. Um, if you want to send information to uh, the company behind Ubuntu or not, okay, just choose whatever you want. Next, next, down. Okay, and you are on Ubuntu. So now the, well, the installation is complete, but we still need to do a few steps in order to use uh, Ubuntu correctly. First, I'm going to click here on the dots, okay, show applications, or here on activities, that's the same. And here you can type terminal, and you are going to open a terminal. And we are first going to update the software because we have just installed Ubuntu, okay, but maybe all the softwares that exist are not updated to the latest version. So here you can do sudo, you can just type what I type, sudo apt update. It's going to ask for your password, so you just type the password that you have set before, so you won't see anything typed here, you just type the password and you press enter. And so it's going to update all the sources for the latest uh, software. And you can see 193 packages can be upgraded. And so you do sudo apt upgrade. Okay. And you have a huge list of stuff that is going to be upgraded. Okay. Here, do you want to continue? You just type Y for yes and you press enter. And then you can wait another few minutes. Okay. Because that's going to take some time. Uh, depending mostly on your internet connection speed and also the performance you have set for your virtual machine. Okay, great. And once you see that, all the software that exists in your uh, Ubuntu are updated and upgraded to the latest version. So you can close the terminal. Well, this you can just ignore that. Doesn't matter. And now, well, that's it. But if you put you can see the uh, virtual machine full size. Well, you can see we have a problem is that uh, Ubuntu is not resizing automatically with the window of the virtual machine. Okay, so if you don't have this problem, that's it, the installation is complete. But if you have this issue, I'm gonna show you how you can uh, easily solve that. And so you're going to need to uh, go back to the terminal once more, terminal, and you can do sudo apt install gcc and then space perl and then space dkms okay so those are just three packages you will need in order to continue uh, for the full screen so you put your password and then yes so you wait a bit until it's downloaded and installed okay so now you can close the terminal and by the way i'm gonna remove that so you can click on remove from favorite, okay, right click, remove from favorite, stuff we don't really need here. And now I'm going to go here on devices, insert guest additions CD image. Okay, and you can see this, so you click on run. It's going to open a terminal, it's going to ask you for your password, so you just put the password, authenticate, and so you just wait here. Okay, and you should see uh, logs like this and then press return to close this window. So you just press enter, okay? And now, well, what you can do is you can restart your virtual machine. So I'm going to power it off first. And well, you have two options to power it off. You can just click here and then uh, power off the machine and okay. Or you can also do here, power off, power off and power off those are the same thing so now the machine is powered off you can just select it again click on start okay and now let's see if it works so it's not gonna resize automatically uh, just like that if you move the window now you can see it works so i can remove to any size you can see it's gonna resize automatically which is very convenient 
So what you can do is you can right click here on the disk, eject, okay? And if, well, in some situations, maybe that's not working. So what you can do, you eject the uh, CD. What you can do is click another time on devices, insert guest addition CD image, and just do the step one more time. And after that, it should work. If it still doesn't work, maybe uh, maybe you don't have an up-to-date version of VirtualBox Manager. Okay, so if you have previously used VirtualBox Manager and you just downloaded uh, Ubuntu and installed Ubuntu in there, what you can do is uninstall VirtualBox, okay, and reinstall VirtualBox and uh, try again with the guest addition CD image and that should work fine. And all right, now your Ubuntu 20.04 is correctly installed and configured on a virtual machine with VirtualBox. If you liked this video, subscribe to get more tutorials like this in the future. Also check out my online courses so you can learn Linux command line step by step in an efficient way by practicing and directly going to the point. Links in the description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses.